Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are talking plumbing and we have a leaking or dripping faucet in our bathroom sink. We're going to show you the step by step process on how to replace your internal stem that's on those little handles of your faucet. Let's go in the bathroom and take a look. All right, YouTubers, in the bathroom now. On the left side, your hot or warm handle. On the right side, your cold handle. And this is a very important step. Step one, you want to put your hand underneath your faucet. And as you can see here, it just dripped in the event that it's cold water. That tells us we need to replace the cold water stem or cartridge. In the event that it's warm or hot water, that will indicate that you have to replace your warm or hot handle cartridge or stem. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, we have a tankless water heater. So all of the water inside our plumbing currently is cold. So this test will not work for us because there is no water heater currently heating water as we speak. The only time our water is heated is when we turn on the hot handle in any sink in the house and that tankless water heater turns on and begins heating that water. Now I love the tankless water heater. It's very efficient and it saves us money. So with that said, in the event that you have a water heater constantly warming your water, this test works for you, but it doesn't for us. So what we need to do, come down below, and we need to figure out which water supply is making that drip. So what we'll do, we'll come down below. This is the cold water line. Shut off valve to the cold water is off or fully shut. And as you can see, it is still dripping. Let's go ahead and turn that back to the full on position. Over to the left, the warm shutoff valve. We will close that and come back up top. And from here, it's very clear that no more water is coming out once we close that hot water line. Let's do something real quick. I'm gonna come back down below and turn this to the on position. Come underneath here, see what it does. Here comes the valve to the full on position. And you can see a little bit of water gathering on the actual aerator portion and the screen. And there's the drip. So that indicates that we have to replace the warm water. So step one, let's head out and grab a hex tool set and figure out which size hex tool we need to remove this screw. But before we do that, step one, close the hot water valve and we are going to release the pressure and water. As you can see here, full on position, valve is fully closed. No more water coming out. All right, YouTubers grabbed our Craftsman 20-piece hex key set, and from here you just got to do some trial and error. This is the key that we found best fits. All we're going to do is unscrew the screw and be very careful. Don't drop that down the drain. I'm going to set that aside, push that far away from the actual sink, come back over here, carefully pull the handle off. And if yours is like ours, counterclockwise, go ahead and unscrew the actual cover plate. From here, that's our stem or cartridge. What we need to do now is go grab our socket and wrench set to remove the stem or cartridge. Went out and grabbed my socket set and our specific size is the 5 8 From here, just be careful and you are going to remove this stem or cartridge. And yours might be very oxidized or calcified, might be a little tough to get off, but just be patient from here. Carefully pull this off and again, try not to drop any of these parts. All right, so pretty dirty, old. You've got a little gasket here and that's what it looks like inside. So what we will do next, we will put this part in a plastic bag. We will head to our local Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, whichever one is most convenient. Now, in the event that you go to one store and they don't have it, try going to another store because Lowe's, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, most of the time they carry different brand of parts. So we'll put this in a bag and head out. And before we head out, I want to show you quick how this works. Handle this back on. And as you open and close the valve, the internal mechanism that creates that watertight seal moves. So right now it is in the full open position and there's an internal plate. Once I close it, you can see it secures itself and creates that watertight seal. And as we open it, it opens up the gaps, allows water to flow through and closing it 
creates that watertight seal. Now over time, these little internal mechanisms that create that watertight seal, they break down, they wear out, and they begin allowing water to flow through when they're not supposed to. So let's head out and purchase a new part. At this point, I've got the actual handle itself and the stemmer cartridge inside a plastic bag. I recommend bringing them both to the store so you can properly match the parts correctly. All right, YouTubers, back from our local hardware store. On the left-hand side is the old worn-out stem. On the right-hand side, the brand new stem. And this is a Danco brand. And unfortunately, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, they did not have the actual Danco replacement part. However, our local hardware store was able to match the two in their book, find the part number in their store, and as you can see, those are exactly the same, however, just a different manufacturer. So what we are going to do now, notice the rubber gasket here, and the brand new nice orange rubber gasket here. You can see on the bottom portion, it's completely worn out and no longer able to create that watertight seal. That's why we need this new one. This rubber gasket here, We'll create that watertight seal on the top portion of this thread. All we're going to do, get a good feel for that thread, insert it into the hole, slowly and carefully, re-secure this, hand tighten it first. From here we will grab our 5 8 socket and secure it. Do not over tighten the stem. However, you want it pretty snug. If you over tighten it, you will increase the chances of damaging this stem and that would not be cool. You have to go back to the hardware store and buy a brand new one. From here, we are going to grab our cover plate, realign it properly, and clockwise, screw it back into place and secure it. Next, grab your handle, align the actual grooves properly. And re-secure that locking screw with your hex key. Set that aside. From here, that completes the steps with this portion. Let's hop back down to the actual valve. And again, on the left-hand side is our hot water valve. Let's go ahead and open it. Completely open in line and come up top and what we noticed within about 20 seconds after turning that hot valve to the on position we noticed water gathering right here and within 20 seconds it dripped and as you can see i don't see any water forming right there so that confirms that that old rubber gasket on the old stem was damaged to a point where it was completely unable to create that watertight seal what we'll do now is we'll turn the water on both hot and cold. Allow the water to flow through for a bit. And after that, I want to turn both off. There should be a little excess water right there. Maybe get one or two drips within 10 seconds of turning the actual handles off. And from here, what we want to do is just monitor that drip. And in the event that it actually drips a couple more times within 30 seconds to 45 seconds, then we know we'll have to replace the cold stem. However, remember that test we did earlier when we turned the cold valve off and it did not stop dripping? However, once we turned the hot valve off, it stopped dripping. Both valves are on, both handles are closed, and there is no signs of any water gathering at that aerator or end point of the faucet. So that's it, YouTubers. It is fixed. No more dripping, no more leaking. That's it, YouTubers. Hope the video helped. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. That will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.